Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is the Bam Bop bleh, Bam Bam Box Pop Culture Box for February. Wow, that was a bad start to the video, but you know what? I'm going with it. It was a rough day at work. You know, you can tell I'm just immediately doing this right after that uh, because I just like to do this box pretty much as soon as I get home and it's there. Today is the day that I got it, the day that this video is going up. Um, for some reason with their new shipping, I end up getting it towards the end of when everyone's getting it. I don't understand. Uh, I guess it's just because now it's coming from Texas and it's the U.S. Postal Service, which, you know, they've been slow lately for me. They've also been damaging my boxes. Luckily, this one's actually not damaged this time, so that's nice. But um, my horror box usually follows behind. Uh, it's going to be delayed because Bambox CEO and, uh, and founder... Uh, Adam MacArthur had let everyone know that the autograph that we they had coming for it, the person actually still had to sign. They got delayed because they're actually doing some filming. So uh, actually today, when this video goes up, was when they were supposed to actually end up signing. So they're going to get end up getting the autographs next week, and then it'll go out. So the February horror box is going to be pretty late. So just know that. Like it's not because there's any sort of shipping issue just for me. It's for everyone because of that autograph. So anyway. Let's get into the BAM pop culture box for February. I do not anymore remember what any of the properties for this are because that's just how it's been going. I've just been busy with stuff, so it's just like I can't keep track. Anyway, tissue paper, one, two for my cat because I'm probably going to need it because every, every time I'm doing videos recently, she comes around and she just starts yelling and yelling and yelling. Oh, is this the 80s box? This might be the 80s box, I'm not sure. Because the first thing I get is... I, man. <laughs> like these colored sunglasses. Um, they might The color might look different on there, but it's neon yellow here. It looks a little greenish on the, on the uh, camera. But hey, you know what? There's a UV protection on this sucker, so that's good. Uh, see, these are the things I really just don't want in these boxes at all. Uh, I, it doesn't bother me, bother me that much if the other stuff is good in it, but if we're getting these things and I don't like the other stuff, well, it's not only if I don't like it, if I just think it's it's poor, but we'll get there. But I, for me personally, like this isn't even a prop replica or anything. It's just, I don't know, it seems weird. Not a fan of that. Okay. Ba -ba! Got a one up. All right, like to see that. Love those one ups. Oh, um, and just so you know, the horror box that I will be getting for February was my free box because if you remember a few months ago, I got one of the instant winners, which was a free box, which that's amazing. I love that they keep doing that. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. When I first look at this, I'm like, what the? I mean, this is kind of funny. I kind of like it. Uh, Nick Kakoza, he's done a bunch of these pins, actually. I keep, his name keeps coming up on these. He does a good job, so. So, it's called Iconic, Retro Iconic. And it's, you know, it's Optimus Prime with a pink bandana. <laughs> Which, when I first saw this, I was just like, you probably saw the look on my face. I was like very confused. I'm like, what is going on with this? But as I continue to look at it, it's not a mashup or anything. It's just, hey man, it's like 80s. It's <laughs> it's funny. Let me check to see if there's a number on it. And maybe that's the upgrade. Let's see. Nope. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look numbered. So, oop, there's the backing. Gotta keep that on there. I don't want to stab myself or anyone else. Uh, but I like that. It's cool. As usual, their pins are usually really, really nice. Um, I dig that. That one's funny. And I like those things. Like, the last time we had that Pikachu Deadpool mashup, that was awesome. That's a lot of fun. All right, so the art print is part of their fan art collection. This is done by uh, artist David Liz Lizanet. I'm sorry for butchering your name, David. Uh, it's called Boom and Inked. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is my upgrade, actually. I got number 335 out of 500, and it is Garbage Pail Kids. There you go. I actually still have Garbage Pail Kids cards. I found them not long ago. So, 
Yeah, I mean, that's cool. Um, I don't think this is an established Garbage Pail kid, so I kind of like the fact that I believe this artist kind of made up their own Garbage Pail kid for the art prints. That's cool. I like it. Good job, David. It's pretty fun. I like the style, too. It's pretty nice. Get a, little, get a good look at that again. I'm sorry, I always have to hold these at an angle because of the, see, the ring light pain, but sorry. All right, so that's pretty solid. Uh, I guess it's then the autograph. And then there's something else at the bottom. We'll see about that. Uh, okay, autograph. Okay, Bradley Gregg. Eyeball Chambers from Stand By Me. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to make a terrible admission right here. I haven't watched the movie. I know. I know. I guarantee there's so many people out there right now being like, "You haven't watched Stand By Me? That's that's quintessential." It's Stephen King, I believe actually, and I really love Stephen King stuff. It's just it's one of those films. There's so many films I need to watch that I just haven't gotten to. Which by the way, I've started doing some film reviews for this channel. Uh, mainly just doing horror, but I will take recommendations for whatever, so it's not just restricted to that. But check those out. Anyway, so Eyeball Chambers, Bradley Gregg. I assume he's... I don't know what to... He's not... He signed on Kiefer Sutherland. You can't fool me. He's not Kiefer Sutherland. Is he this dude? I don't even know, man. Or... Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. Like I said, I haven't seen it. But that's cool. I'm sure a lot of people would actually like this because I know that Stand By Me is a pretty beloved film that a lot of people say very good things about. So, yeah, man. That's cool. That's a good autograph. Oh, no. I'm not... <laughs> uh, uh, okay, it, it's, it's a little different, but I'm just... It's another one of these, like, foldable things. This is the third one we've gotten in about six to eight months. I don't dig that. I really don't dig that. Um, it's just, this is just like the milk cartons. It, the design's good on this, and, and, like, I get it. I like it. It says 11 on it, so it's obviously a reference to Stranger Things. So if they hadn't done the milk cartons and then they did this, I would be like, oh, that's cool. So... Taking out the fact that I know that there were the other milk carton things, this is actually good. Like, the design is nice. There you go. You can see it's 11 on there. Terrego waffles. Some stuff on the back there. Drawing. If you want to pause on it so you can read what's on there. But, okay. I mean, it's fine. It It's actually cool. You could make this, like, a cool Ego thing. And this could be actually a really nice addition to someone's display of uh, Stranger Things stuff that they're collecting. But it's just, for me, they're they're in the mode of doing the, the same thing a few times, and I don't like it. Um, I just don't like it. Because it tells me that I, I'm thinking they're going to do it again. There goes my cat. She's been doing this. Hey, tissue paper, bud. <laughs> I just got to throw it at her. That's all I can do. So, okay. So I'm sure there are people who are really excited about this. Like I said, the design is good. So, you know, take it for what you will. My criticisms, that's just me. That's my thing. All right. And then the spoiler sheet. So that's the rest of it. Uh, so there was a He-Man and there was an ALF for the pins. And they're all retroed out. I like it. Yeah, those are cool. I like those. The ALF, the ALF in my opinion, kind of looks the funniest, maybe. Throwback neon sunglasses. None of us needed these. I. It's more like throw away neon sunglasses. The Custom 11 Waffle Box by Paul Elder Designs. Like I said, it's a good design, it is. I'm just, these foldable things, these foldable milk and food boxes, I'm, I'm not digging on it. So then the, here are the two art, different art prints that there were of the, um, that David Lazanitz did for Garbage Pail Kids. Those look good. I, I actually... You know, I'm going to be honest, I, I kind of like this one more, the the uh, common. I like them both, but I like that one more with his head exploding. That's pretty cool. And then the two different variations of the Stand By Me autograph that you could have gotten. It's pretty sweet looking. And then Shredder. Uh, Bambox, doo -doo, uh, win this canvas sketched and signed by Kevin Eastman. 
Yeah, the guy who created did the comics for uh, original comics for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So that was something they were doing for their giveaway. It looks good. And Kevin Eastman. If you haven't read those comics, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comics, I actually had them from when I was a kid. I still have them somewhere, I think. Really good. Really dark, actually. Like, violent. And, like, not really for kids, but I don't think my parents kind of knew that. I think they figured it would be just like the cartoon. So they're like, oh, here are these comics. So, anyway. um, Overall, this box for me is meh. I mean, it's not my favorite one. Uh, it's not bad, though. Like, I like, obviously, I really like the pin. That's definitely my favorite thing. And then after that, I really like the, um, the art print, the Garbage Pail Kid. Um, but I recognize that the 11 Ego box is well done, and some people really like that. And the Stand By Me autograph isn't for me just because I haven't seen it, but there are probably a lot of people who like that too. So f I can see where for a bunch of people, this was a really good box for me. It's just kind of middling, but I'm going to put that pin on my corkboard pretty much immediately. Anyway, thank you for checking this out. Uh, please support me. Help me out. It takes you pretty much no time to just hit that subscribe. If you want to know whenever I put up videos because I'm trying to do some more content, hit the notification bell. Uh, comments down below. Let's just you know get a little nerdy about some stuff. Let's talk about whatever you want. And then thumbs up if you like it. And that's cool. Anyway, thanks once again. And until next time, keep it brutal.